everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be trying out the Enel Couture 123 Go system on myself. So I'm going to be using their base gel and these are their full cover gel tips. As you can see they come in sizes 0 to 11 and I've got the stiletto shape here. Now these aren't the XXL length ones, these are just their standard length ones but for me they're actually quite long. So I'm just showing you guys here, they've got a really nice apex to them as well. Now to begin with, I'm going to be coming in with my e-file and a manicure bit. And I'm just going to etch the inside of that nail tip just on the contact area where I'm going to be applying the gel and adhering it to my nail. This is just to help make sure it all bonds nicely. And I'm also just going to run that same e-file bit around the cuticle area just to thin it out a little bit so that I can get a nicer flush cuticle area. And then off camera I did that to the rest of the nails. Now I've already done most of the prep work on my nails so I've already pushed back all my cuticles, nipped away any excess cuticle, filed over them with a 180 grit file and here I'm just coming in with my dehydrator and I'm just applying that to all of the nails and then I'm coming in with my acid primer I choose to use an acid one just because I find I get no lifting when I use an acid based primer so just make sure that if you are using an acid based primer to not get any at all on the skin and then once I've finished applying that, I'm just going to apply a thin layer of the base gel to all of my nails and I'll then pop them in my LED lamp to cure for 60 seconds. Now I did also get the Enel Couture flashy lamp, the little pink torch light that you use to flash cure your nails. However, when doing this system on myself, I just find it a lot easier to use my actual main led lamp i found it really hard to try and apply the nail tip and cure at the same time with the flashy lamp but if you were doing it on someone else the flashy lamp would definitely be a lifesaver i've used it in previous videos when i just want to quickly flash cure something and it is so handy so once I've got that all applied, I'm just going to pop it in to cure for 60 seconds. Now the base gel does actually only require a 30 second cure. However, I hadn't read that when I was doing my nails, but I had no issues. And then here I'm just starting off with the little finger and I'm applying that base gel into what will be the contact area of that tip. And then I'm just going to come in and place it down on my nail. So I'm starting off with the cuticle area and I'm applying quite a lot of pressure to make sure that all that gel flows out and up and doesn't seep out under the cuticle and then I'm just flash curing it. And as you can see here, I was just checking, there's no bubbles. It's only flash cured, but it's tightly in place. So then I'm gonna come on and do the remainder of the nails. So I'm just, as you can see again, applying that in exactly the same way. I paint it on and then add just a little bit extra at that apex area. I'm getting it as close to my cuticle as I can without touching and then pressing down quite firmly to be honest. And then just flash curing because you'll give them a full cure once you've got them all in place. Now this is definitely such a simple and fast system to do on somebody else like a client. Doing it on yourself is that little bit more trickier because you don't have that third hand to help you out with flash curing. Obviously I'm doing it on my own now and then I'm using my second hand to hold the tip in place so it makes it a little difficult getting the light over it but it's definitely something that with practice will get easier. Now this is what the nails looked like when I'd finished flash curing them all and I only found that I had one small bubble on one nail. I don't even think you can notice it in the video but here I'm just coming in with an old acrylic brush and some alcohol and just cleaning off any gel that might have seeped out around the edges before I give them a full 60 second cure in my lamp. And this is what they looked like once they'd been fully applied. So effectively, this is the system done. You, you could just leave them like this if you wanted to. 
However, I am going to come in and do a simple design on them. Before doing that, I did decide I don't want them as long as what they are and I don't want a stiletto shape simply because I struggle a little bit with stilettos and my daughter's car seat, to be honest. She's only little, well, she's three. Um, so she's in a car seat and I really, really struggle with the car seat buckle and stiletto nails. And because I didn't know the strength of these, I just thought I'd shorten them a little bit and take them down to a more tapered square coffin shape. So I'm just coming in here with a 100 grit file and shaping them. I, I filed them into a tapered square and then when I was buffing them, I decided to go just a bit more narrower into a coffin shape. And then here I'm coming in with my e-file again and that manicure bit and I've got this on a speed around, I think it's around 10 and I'm just coming in along the side walls and cuticle area and just thinning out the nail a little bit there just so that there's not a lip as the nail grows out and it just gives you that much more flusher, neater cuticle. When I was applying my gel I realised I probably could have done this a little bit more but I weren't sure when I was doing it just because like I said it's my first time doing the system on myself. And then I also buffed over all of the nails with my 180 grit file and just shaped them up a little bit more like I said and then this is what they looked like. And then I scrubbed all of the nails with my nail brush to remove all of that dust and here I was just showing you sometimes you get these little excess bit of tip when you've been filing so make sure you get rid of any of those otherwise it will ruin your shaping. And then I'm coming in and applying a thin layer of base gel. I did apply this to all of the nails. However, I only re recorded doing it to one nail because I didn't want the video to be super repetitive. But I'm just applying this because I'm quite hard on my nails, to be honest, and I thought it would give them an extra layer of strength. And then I was quite impressed with how these looked. As you can see on the middle finger, that's the one bubble that I got. But I was still quite impressed that out of the whole set, I only managed to get one. I love the apex of them. I love the shape of them. They look really, really nice. So I was quite impressed with how they turned out. So onto the design, I'm going to be using those two colours from Kiki London. So on the pointer finger and the little finger, I'm going to be using the blue. So I'm coming in first of all and just applying a nice thin first coat of this. And I will pop this into cure for 60 seconds. And guys, if you've used the Enel Couture 123 Go system, let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below. I've heard quite mixed reviews, to be honest, but I was really looking forward to trying it. And I've had these sitting in my cupboard for, gosh, over a month, but I just haven't had a chance to do my own nails. So as soon as I got some time today, I sat down and did them. And my first impressions were I'm, I'm quite impressed with the set um, or the system, sorry. They were simple enough to apply, definitely a lot quicker than doing a full set of acrylics. Obviously, I'm going to wear them to see how they last and hold up. But yeah, my first impressions are definitely that it's a good system. Now here you can see I'm applying the Kiki London white gel polish to my ring finger and middle finger. Now me and gel polish, I've told you guys before, we don't go together. I really struggle with gel polish. I'm such an acrylic girl. But obviously with the Enel Couture system, I'm hopefully going to be using gel polish a lot more on myself. So hopefully my application will get a lot better, but I'm trying to get as neat as I can. And then off camera, I clean up any bits that need cleaning up with an old nail art brush and some alcohol. So that first coat, I popped that into Cure and then I'm coming in and doing the second coat, just applying this exactly the same way as the first. I absolutely love this blue from Kiki London. I didn't know what sort of, I didn't have a design in mind to be honest. I just wanted to try out the Enel Couture system, but I wanted to do something quite simple. And I was going through my colors and I see this blue and I thought, do you know what? After all of the pinks and the reds that have been around for Valentine's day. And then before that, all the reds and the greens and the golds for Christmas, I was really feeling some blue nails. So yeah, I decided to go for this one from Kiki and it's such a nice blue. I think it still feels quite wintry outside at the moment, so the blue went quite well with the weather. Once I have applied that second coat, I will pop these in to cure for 60 seconds. 
And this is what the nails looked like once they'd had that second coat. I do find that I only ever need two coats whenever I'm using the Kiki London gel polishes. And then because the blue nails are staying simple blue nails, I've just come in and top coating them all with my top coat just so that I know they're done and out of the way. Off camera, I did also do my thumbnail just a plain blue, but I didn't leave that in the video. And then on to the white nails, I'm going to be doing some Sharpie art. Now I just wanted a really simple watercolour effect. So I've wiped off the tacky layer of the gel polish and then I'm just drawing on some wriggly lines with three different colour Sharpies and dispersing the ink with some alcohol. You can create some really cool marble and watercolour designs with Sharpies, but to be quite honest, in this design, it's just simple blending the colours out and together. I didn't want to do anything too jazzy today. I was having a bit of a mind blank when it come to a design and I just wanted something quick and easy. So as you can see, I'm just blending it out with some alcohol, coming in with a little bit more Sharpie here and there until I'm happy with how it looks. But if I'm honest, I quite like this effect. Um, it's quite soft and yeah, I just, I just find it really easy to do. So it's kind of like my go-to thing if I'm pressed for time and I want something simple to do on my own nails. You can create, you can use any colours. So you can fit this in with absolutely any set that you are doing. And here you can just see, I'm just moving those colours around until I'm happy with how it looks. Coming in with a little bit more blue down here because I kind of wanted just a little bit more blue to pull in the blue from the other two nails. And then I'm going to do that all over again on the next nail. I've just sped this part of the video up because I'm simply doing exactly the same. Obviously, it's not going to look exactly the same because that's the great thing about this kind of design. It's always going to look unique every time you do it. But I just thought I would speed it up so that the video weren't, again, super repetitive of doing the same thing. Once I'm happy with how that all looks, I will leave these to dry for a couple of minutes before coming in with my top coat because I feel that otherwise you can smudge the design. But then when it has dried, I'm just floating on a thin, even layer of my top coat and then I will pop that in to cure for 60 seconds and that is the end of the design. So this video was a lot different to anything I normally do because it was my first time using this system. But I do hope you enjoyed the video and it was a help if you're looking at the Enel Couture 123 Go system. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, please do consider subscribing. Hopefully I will have a few more videos like this coming up using the Enel Couture nail tips. Oh, and lastly, I'm just going to come in and replenish my cuticles with some cuticle oil. So I'm just placing that on the nails, or on the cuticles, sorry, and giving it a good massage in. And then I have left a little clip and photo for you guys to check out. So as always, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. It means a hell of a lot to me. And I shall see you all again in the next video. Bye bye.